Hello guys, welcome to this channel. I am Matthias and I am a self-employed filmmaker based in Sweden. In this video I'm going to talk about and share with you my new strategy for buying filmmaking gear. I will also buy some new gear in this video and explain how this footage of me wearing a pyjamas in freezing cold water is relevant on this topic. It really is. Let's dive in. In an earlier video I talked about my story so far and reflections on my startup mind. Also trying out the method to forge a vision statement, areas of focus and goals. Now I've come a long way of doing that for 2021 and that includes a lot of things that I might get back to in future videos. But the main theme of my goals is to become more intentional as a creator, filmmaker, business owner, even as a person overall. Meaning that defining my purpose, my vision and my goals as a filmmaker and a business owner. And each day take small steps in that direction. Because if not intentional then you are aimless. And being aimless in a situation where you want to reach your goals, I think it's stupid and you have to really rely on luck. And I don't feel like being a gambler when it comes to my career. Not saying that I've been unintentional so far, but I really believe that becoming even more intentional is the only way I can develop my skills and my business to where I want it to be. Here are some of the areas I have been working on lately, but it's time to come to the point of this video. What I call investments in production gear. My initial plan when I started out was to work really hard, reinvest the majority of my revenue in production gear with no loans. And that ended up in buying a lot of stuff for two years. Which means that I have developed these areas very much and gained a lot of experience of course. But now it's about time to shift focus and enter a new phase in my career. And I'm really stoked about this because I think this will elevate my work more than gear does. Now I have most of the gear I need or want to be able to provide my services. For now. Of course meaning that things will develop and change over time and fall into the water. Like my drone did, I spent 20 minutes in that freezing water wearing this hilarious outfit searching for a lost Mavic Pro 2. I never found it and I had to replace it. Things like that can happen. With that said, my new investment plan and strategy for filmmaking gear 2021 is quite simple. I hope you don't get disappointed, but this isn't rocket science, more common sense really. I now have a thought through and written plan on what things to buy and why. And I think the why is very important. It hasn't been super important for me earlier, but now it helps me to think straight. Things I could or should buy if certain conditions are met. For example, if a big project get a green light, I decide to shoot a very special project. If this or that happens, here I have some new stuff I really want, but I shouldn't buy them just because I want them. And also to sell the things I don't use or no longer need. And here we have the list of the things I'm gonna buy in 2021, for sure, starting already today. If we take a look at this, this gear cart is actually something that I really, really like to buy and have so I can become faster and also save my back and my knees on set. Also make me faster going to and from productions. I have also always wanted a really good on-camera monitor and this is the best I think I can, can buy at this moment with the budget I have. The small HD 503 ultra bright so I can use it in in all situations possible. To uh, be able to use that I also need some new batteries so I don't have to uh, have even more batteries on my already big rig. And if we look at the list again, if we scroll down we can see the things I intend to sell during 2021. Now this doesn't look like a big grand master plan of course. 
And the reason for that is of course that I have been um, spending two years now buying all the stuff I need, but also spending some time editing exactly what I want and what I need to elevate my career from now on. I hope this have uh, brought some inspiration to you. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel and comment below and we can have a discussion about this. And um, yeah, follow along and new videos coming up in 2021. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.